get start our topic so suppose now we are going to talk about the software and tools for network engineers so if you are working as a network engineers or network admins there are some tools that are going to help you for example to find the performance to check the bandwidth to check the troubleshooting all those stuff so and you can see if you are we can say junior or we can say fresher to the networks obviously this types of software seem for you a little bit difficult so the more you guys are we can say keep working with them the more we can say you become familiar and they're very easy once two time if you guys keep working you're going to get with them so much familiar so let's start software and tools for network engineers okay first of all we are talking about communication softwares communication softwares suppose uh, we have computers they have operating system and we have switch and routers they have iOS internet port operating system so now there should be a software which connect the iOS to OS so the software which are connecting the iOS to OS those are called communication softwares so communication software used to access or to configure the switch router firewall so now you can say switch router firewall they do not have we can say any keyboard all those stuff that we can use so we have to connect through computers from computers we can use any of these we can say softwares like putty secure crt manicon hyper kt turtle so you can use one one of these softwares to access the router and switch Suppose I am taking a new switch connecting to the computer. Via computer, I use one of these programs to access the router, to access the switch. Suppose you can use Putty. It doesn't mean that, that you can use all of them. No, it is your choice. You can use any of them. Suppose maybe you are using Putty, maybe you are using Manicorn, maybe you are using Tarot. So clear, guys? These are all communication softwares, which by help of these softwares, you can access the switch or routers. Then we are going to talk about for practice. For practice, which types of software we are going to use. For practice, we are using, suppose when there is no physical devices. Suppose when there is no physical labs. And here we are using some simulator or emulator. So suppose the famous one is Cisco Packet Tracer, GNS Graphic Network Simulator, Viral or EVE Emulated Virtual Environment. So these are we can say the softwares which by help of these softwares you are installing on your computers. It can be desktop or laptop. Via this, you are going to do the practice. For example, you are going to connect the devices and they have everything they have everything for example for ccna cisco packet tracer is awesome and because it is very comfortable with your devices it doesn't take too much memory and uh, we can say and so it is we can say very friendly very friendly that means it makes you to work with that and seriously that's my favorite then we have the gns GNS, we can say it's also we can say a software which you are going to install on your computer. Via this, you are going to do the practice of router, switch, protocols, all those stuff. But this is needs a lot of space and memory. And we can say sometimes it makes your computer a bit hang. But features is awesome. Then we have viral and EVE emulated virtual environment. So all these four we can say softwares used to when you're practicing when there is no physical lab you're using then suppose look guys sometimes there are some softwares or we can say there are some online websites that are doing the subnetting for you suppose if you're good enough in subnetting you, you can do it by yourself but sometimes it happened that suppose your time is so, so less and because it needs some we can say mathematical calculation what you have to do there are some websites which i have written go to these websites 
put your IP address and subnet mask and press enter. It will find you everything. It, it will find you the hosts, how many subnets, first valid host, last valid host. It will find you everything. So you just enter the IP and subnet mask. It is going to find for you everything. For example, the first uh, website is we can say www.subnet slash calculator.com. If you go in here, you're asking about your IP address and subnet mask. Just enter the IP address and subnet mask and click enter and it's going to find for you everything. Another one is called jodias.de slash IP C-A-L-L-C. So in here also you can put the IP address and MAC uh, subnet mask and you're going to got all those results. So these are we can say three, four websites that if you are supposed sometimes in a very, we can say rush situation that you want to do submitting for some enterprises and uh, it's very emergency, you just put the IP address here and the subnet mask, it's going to do everything in a fraction of a second. Clear guys? Then we can say guys, we have some tools and software for designing the network diagrams. Designing the network diagrams. Suppose you're going to uh, draw the diagrams, we can say for a project. You want to draw the diagrams for book, for some documentation. In here, suppose uh, what you have to do, you're going for, you're going to install some softwares. Most of them are free. For example, Lucid Chart, Smart Draw. E draw curiously so we can say you can download one of this install on your computer and you can draw the switch you can draw the router you can draw we can say connect them with cables everything and they're very friendly and they're very easy in one two three times if you use you're going to get familiar with this so simple guys these three we can say lucid chart smart draw it draw you just download one of this then you can draw the diagram. You can draw router, you can draw switch, half firewall, everything. So these are the tools for designing the network diagrams. Suppose uh, maybe you're going to do some projects. So pick one of this, install and work done. So clear guys? Yeah, these are the tools or software for designing the diagram. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. For example, it has a trailer. You can use that. Then come to the most important parts. Most important part. These are all some software for monitoring. Suppose most of the network admins, they have five, six favorite softwares that they are going to install on their computers and they are going to monitor the whole entire enterprise. Enterprise about the performance, they are going to check the IP address, the MAC address. If we can say something bad happened, you are going to get notification. So these are our what? Softwares. And remember, these softwares are what? You are going to install like next, next, finish. Then you are going to work. So all this software is like graphic interface. You are not, we can say command line interface. They are graphical user interface. So software for monitoring. And there are a lot of softwares for monitoring. And I am going to tell some of them which are most important or we can say most network admins you are going to use. And if you are a fresher, do not scare about this. And because the more you keep, guys keep working, the more it becomes easier for you. So let's start. Software for monitoring. It's going to monitor, alert, troubleshoot, check, and then. So let's get a start. The first one, Wireshark. Yes, Wireshark, which is one of my best favorite ever. It captured the packet when you can see each detail in that. So what is inside of the packets is going to tell. It's a good tool for troubleshooting and one means it is free. It is free. Suppose now you can see you have one, uh, two routers. And uh, when you are going to send the data from one router to another router, and here between two routers you are going to put the wire shot that any packets which are going to go and come, pick that one and check inside of the whole packets. Whole packet. So now in each packet, if they are going to communicate, you can pick that one and see inside of that what is going on. 
And remember, this tool is mostly used by hackers also, that they're going to pick the packet and they're going to check each detail of the packets. So simple, Wireshark is a software that it's going to give information, the whole detail of the packets. Then packet. so simple, you're going to download, install on your computer, and we can say that uh, if any, uh, someone is pinging from source destination, it's going to capture the data and analyze it and make it small, small and show you everything. And the base thing is it is free. That's called Wireshark and it's my favorite. The next one is called IPF. Yes, IPF. It's also, we can say, a software which you're going to install on your computer or your server. It's going to measure or report the bandwidth, loss, latency, and gyro. So it's going to, we can say, it gives a whole detailed information about the bandwidth, loss, latency, and gyro. So this is called IPF. It's going to monitor and like this. The next one is called NMAP, right? NMAP, which stands for Network Mapper. This we can say that it's going to like a security scanner. It's going to discover the host that surfaces on your computer. It gives information about the host. It gives information about the all surfaces which is running on your network. That is called network mapper or nmap. The next one is called ANRI IP scanner. Right. ANRI IP scanner. So this is one of the best tools for all network admins. It's one of the best standard tools for all network admins. Angry IP scanner first rapidly pings, then check the port status, then starts resolving the host name. It gathers MAC address and it got yeah, a lot of IP addresses. It gathers all we can say when something is going wrong with the networks. Then when the scan is finished, it will give you hold the result in CSV file or TXT or XML. File. So uh, when the result is finished, it put you in a file and give for you and give for you. That is called IP scanner, and it's we can say most of the network admin use this one, and it's very nice because it collects information about the IP address, MAC address, port status, and everything, and collect them, report, report, put it in the report, and gives for you. That's called angry IP scanner. The next one is called Negos, Negos or Negos. So it's a networking monitoring software. It's also we can say a software which, which is using for monitoring. It's finding data flows and security as well as going to clock, uh, collect the logs. It is completely open source. It means it is free. So and it has another version called uh, Negos X1. You can monitoring everything with this one from in infrastructure to application with granular detail. So in here we can say if it gives whole information, you're going to check monitoring from A to Z in your network. And we can say that if something is wrong, you're going to receive a log, a notification in your software that something is, something wrong has happened or something, someone wants to attack in your network or something is in danger. It gives you a log message that's called Ingos. The next software is called NTPONG. NTOPNG. It has high speed web based traffic analysis and flow collection. Allows you to view traffic data and gather reports regarding the network status. You can use numerous criteria for sorting IP addresses, ports, layer 7 protocols. So it's also we can say it um, gives a uh, whole information about all your traffic how you're flowing, about your IP address, you're going to sort all of them, and about all the layer 7 protocols. That's called NTPONG. So it is also, you can say, maybe it's going to free. Then one of my favorite, that is called Kiwi Syslog Server. Kiwi Syslog Server, or some people only call it Kiwi. So you can collect, view up to five sources, including the routers, computers, or other devices. You can view logs in real time, gather status, and even set up warning and alerts. 
but also with SNMP trap you can click and analyze with Kiwi. So in here we can say like this that if something happens it gives you information. It gives you information. It gives you an alert. For example, it can be your router, it can be your switch, it can be your server, everything. So that is called Kiwi Syslog Subfer. And it gives whole information. Whole information. If something is wrong happen, it gives you, we can see a notification that something bad happened. That's called Kiwi Syslog Surfer. The next one is called Solar Winds. Solar winds. It will monitor an NSMP variable on that device. It monitors the bandwidth you are using on the router or disk space on your server. Threshold can be configured which inform you the warning or an error. Makes it simple to quickly detect your noise and resolve problems issues before uh, uh, before we can say it's going to overflow. So in here again, it's a monitoring software. For example, it gives information about the speed of your router or the bandwidth or we can say how much space is left we can say how much space is left on the server or we can say maybe something is going to cross the limits it gives you a warning that something is going to cross the limits like this so it is also we can say it is uh, check maybe it is free or not and we can say that some websites if you are good enough maybe you can find it for free and again, it's going to uh, a software is going to check the performance of your network and we can save a whole details information it will give you. The next one is called WhatsApp Go. WhatsApp Go. It checks the performance and functions of the network devices or server in a cloud. This tools monitor and describe everything with the help of a map from edge to the cloud. You can make an in-depth analysis of the devices wireless controllers, virtual machines, traffic flows, and numerous applications. So this is one of, we can say, very strong tools, which it gives information from for most of the devices. It can be, we can say, your router, switch, your server, your wireless, your virtual machine, traffic flows, and some other applications. Some other application from start till end of the cloud. So the more you are using, the more we can say you, you are going to become familiar with the use of this. Then we have PRTG. Yes, PRTG. So this software, it helps the network administrator to find the root cause of the existing network issues and providing immediate solutions. It is a successful tool that can, can monitor your entire IT infrastructure within a minute. Simple guys, it is a successful tool that is going to, we can say, manage your IT infrastructure within a single minute if something is wrong happen. It can work on the router, on the server, on the switch and many other applications. So it's one of, we can say, one of very rich software that we can say if anything's happen, it, it's going to control everything from A to Z and from your infrastructures in very short span of it can be, for example, something is going to wrong or some, suppose uh, you're going to find a troubleshoot, troubleshooting issues or we can say you want to find the root, what th things we can say make it happen, this problem. So it's going to monitor everything because all those stuff, all this software which we have spoken, these are all monitoring softwares. Then we have WinsCap. WinsCap. The main purpose of these tools is to make a secure file transfer between the remote computer and local server. So mostly we can say this software is not using too much for monitoring. This software is mostly used that if you want to, we can say, have a remote communication. It is going to put security for that remote communication. It put security for that remote communication. Then we can say again CACT. It's a graphical logging tool that was designed to monitor and collect data about the network devices. So again, we can say it is a software which you are going to install it. Very simple, next, next, finish. And again, it's going to give you a detailed information. It's going to monitor whole your network and collect information about your network and report you in a very short span of time. Then the last one is which I would like to say that R-Config. 
R config. The R config allows taking periodic backup of Cisco devices. It can be switched, routers, or firewall. So simple. This uh, we can say software. It's going to we can say take the backup of your we can say the devices, the configuration. Suppose if you configure switch router anything, this software automatically you're going to we can say arrange them in a such a way that it's going to take the backup of everything. So simple guys, all this software which I have told about the monitoring all of them are awesome so the more which you're going to use the more you become familiar and it is very easy and we can say a week you're going to get familiar with which each and all of them and they're not too much difficult very easy and very strong because uh, about whole networks we can say it gives you information and we can say it is very fast and it gives information about your IP MAC address and everything so the more you use, the more you become familiar and then on them. So I just only we can say take a brief introduction about them and a lot of we can say others if you want to go detail, they have a lot of other facilities that the more you can work, the more you become familiar with that. So yeah guys, thank you so much for uh, listening and uh, again I'm going to say that we talked about the communication software which are going to install on your computers via that communication software you are accessing your switch or routers then we talk about we can say what software we are using for drawing or implementation and network diagram you want to draw the uh, router switch firewall or computers then we talk about there are some websites that you can do the uh, ip address calculation there and the last which we have told uh, about all those 13, 14 software which you can use for the monitoring of your networks. So yeah guys, uh, hope you guys understand and at first this seem, bit, seem difficult but it's very easy. I'm sure you're going to learn even more less than a week if you want to use them. And uh, yeah guys, if you guys have any question, any suggestion, so you can ask and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And till next class or till next videos, all the best, take care, have a beautiful time, stay connected.